Welcome back to my channel! So today I have five tips on Friday! For you all like OMG, I can't believe this is actually my 68th five tips on Friday! So I hope you guys enjoyed this helpful video and let's just get right into it. Okay, so your first tip is if you have dry hair, try not to use combination shampoo and conditioner, like a two-in-one product. You should use a separate shampoo and a separate conditioner to make sure that you're getting the proper amount of conditioner and shampoo. So just by putting in all one product, then you don't really know how much you're putting in of just the conditioner, so it is going to make your hair a lot drier. So find a shampoo that you like that smells really good and get two separate products. This way, your hair won't be as dry. Okay, so the next tip is, are you getting tired of your jeans? Well, make them have a new look by distressing them. Oh yeah, all you need is one simple thing and that's sandpaper. This is actually a sand block and this one works a lot better than regular sandpaper. Sandpaper works really well too, but this one works a lot better. So um, these, I bought this one at Home Depot. If you want one like this, it's just like a little block of sandpaper. So to make your jeans look distressed and really cute and look like their designer brand, is all you have to do is go ahead and take the sand block. Whoa, my hair is in my face. And um, take your jeans. And these are actually a pair that I was just working on because I was getting tired of these jeans. They started looking awkward. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna do something different. So all I have to do is go ahead and go on the seam with the sandpaper and you just have to go do, 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 do. go ahead and take the sandpaper and just go up and down motions onto the seam and this is kind of just going to distress it a little bit this is a pair that I have been working on um just I just started working on and I want to make them look really distressed so you're just going to go ahead and take the sandpaper and go up and down motion on the seam and you guys can tell instantly it has a really nice Distressed look it's starting to have a really nice distressed look and you can also do it on the pocket of the jean This looks really cute too It just kind of makes it look distressed and makes it look like you've got a new pair of jeans, but really it's your old pair So you're just gonna go ahead and Sand it down You can also do it on the seam on the side Just go ahead and like that as you guys can instantly tell it's starting to look distressed you could also do it on the bottom if you wanted to Just go back and forth motions and as you guys can see it's starting to get distressed I'm doing this to all my jeans just because it's really cute and then you get like a new pair of jeans without spending anything basically. You could also do it to the back pockets, you could do it to the seam right there. And then you get a really cute pair of designer distressed looking jeans. Okay, so your next tip is are you having trouble applying mascara? And you're applying your mascara to your lower lashes and it just always seems to get on your lower lash line. And you want a clean finish on your lower lash line and you're like, OM cheers, what do I do? What you have been needing is a makeup sponge. You can either get a makeup round like this one or a makeup wedge like a sponge And then if you have the makeup round then you're just gonna go ahead and cut it in half So then what you're gonna do doo -doo -doo -doo, You're gonna go ahead and have it in half and then you're just gonna go ahead and put it right up to your lower lash line Where your lashes are take your mascara doo -doo -doo, Favorite mascara at the moment Too Faced false lashes Loves it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and Put it right on the lower lash line, right above it, and then you're going to go on your lower lashes. Just like that. And you can tell instantly all that. See how all the black is on there? You can tell that would have gotten on my lower lash line. And say I wanted a clean finish, this would have gotten all on my lower lash line, making it not look clean. So Sometimes, me personally, I skip the step of applying mascara to my lower lashes just because sometimes I want that clean finish and I still feel like I'm going to get it underneath my eye, even if I'm extra careful. And this way, you don't even have to worry about that. So if you do want that clean finish without having all the mascara marks on your lower lash line, this will help. So now you don't have to worry about getting mascara under your eye and you'll have that nice clean finish all from a makeup sponge. Okay, so next tip is applying highlighter to the top of your cheekbones, make them appear higher. I love doing this, but when I first did it, I was like, where are my cheekbones? Where do you find those cheekbones so you can precisely apply this highlighter? All you need is two fingers. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your two fingers and place them right on the outer corner of your eye. And wherever that lands, that means that is where the top of your cheekbone is. Then you're just going to go ahead and apply. And right there is the top of my cheekbone. So now I can go ahead and apply my highlighter, making my cheekbones appear higher and I will be able to find them. Okay, so the last tip I absolutely love, and you actually saw me wearing it throughout the entire video, is the cutest thing ever. I love it so much. It is one of the cutest things ever, and it's actually the short. It is so cute. I love it so much. Um, as you guys can see, it's really cute, and it's a little tank top. It's perfect for summertime, and it has, like, that distressed look right up at the top on the sleeve. I love it so much, and you can actually make one, too. All you really need is a t-shirt. Any t-shirt basically works, but you want one that has a little bit more of a softer material. I, I tried one with a little bit of a harder material, and it worked the same. It worked, but it was a little bit more of harder to, like curl in so um if you do use a harder t-shirt you might want to wash it before you wear it so then it curls in a little bit more and has that distressed look um but this one automatically just curled in right after i cut it um and then you'll also be needing a pair of scissors and then all i do is need those two simple things and then you'll get this really cute t-shirt all i have to do is find a flat surface for your t-shirt to be on and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and you know straighten out the sleeves just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your scissors. You want to make sure that they're fabric scissors so then they're easier to cut. Um, but if you don't have fabric scissors, don't worry. It will still work. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and see the seam right here um, where this t-shirt connects. You're actually just going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut the sleeve seam right off. You're just going to cut along the sleeve seam. This, you can, it can be round. It's going to be rounded. And then you're going to save this little t-shirt scrap for later. And then you can see it's instantly a, t and then you can see, and then you can see it's instantly a tank top. Then what you're just going to do is you're just going to go ahead and pull that tight. Um, and then you're just going to go ahead and do the other side. What you're going to do is starting right here at the seam, you're just going to go ahead and take your scissors. And what you're going to do is I'm actually going to lean, lean down so that I can know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, make a little tiny slit right here. Just like the tiniest slit until I have that bump and I reach that seam. And then I'm going to just go ahead and cut off this whole top part of the shirt. This is going to make it look a little bit more distressed up at the top. Go ahead and cut this off, the whole top part of the shirt. And I just made a little cut in the top right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut the rest of it off. and cut it off and then you guys can instantly tell that the sleeves get really tiny um, and you can instantly tell that that does happen and then once it stretch out it looks so cute and then what you're gonna do is in the back like that it still looks like interesting so what I, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the back together just like that I'm gonna hold it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sleeve, and this is why we're saving the sleeve for later. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and cut off this, like, right where the t-shirt is. Like, say this was the t-shirt like this. I'm actually just going to go ahead and cut off this little seam. Any part of the t-shirt works. Or if you don't want to use the t-shirt, I'm just recycling the t-shirt. But if you don't want to, you could also use ribbon. You could use any kind of old fabric that you have. Any kind of anything, any kind of, like, fabric-y texture will work um but i'm just using part of the t-shirt just because i feel like it's like i don't need to waste it i can just go ahead and use that and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and tie it right in the middle i'm just going to eye it actually and see what part of the middle it wears the middle um it doesn't really matter and then what i'm going to do is i'm first going to tie a knot right here 
right in the back. I'm just going to tie just a regular knot. And then I'm going to actually bring it around, like around the back of the t-shirt. And then I'm going to tie a knot on the front, like on the back inside of it. And then I'm just going to keep on wrapping. take the scissors and just cut off those two extra pieces just like that and then there you go there's a really really cute t-shirt and that's what it looks like on the back so this is what mine looks like it's really cute and as you guys can see I did nothing with the bottom of the shirt it came with the little seam up here and then up at the top yeah, as you can see, it's a really thin strap, which I love because I just think it looks really cute, like, with a thin top. And actually, I bought one of these shirts from Forever 21 that looks almost identical to this. And this one, I think, looks cuter than the one that I bought from Forever 21. And there you go. Now you have a really, really cute tank top made out of an old t-shirt. And as you guys can tell of mine, this would be a really cute beach cover-up. I wear it out all the time. I just love it. I did it with a bunch of my t-shirts just because it looks so cute. So it's perfect for summer. And now you have a brand new shirt, all from just an old t-shirt. Oh my god, that is it, that is all my cuckoos, my 68th five tips on Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed this helpful video and stay tuned for more great drink tips because more great tips coming your way. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next video. Hope everyone has a great day and I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Talk to you later. Bye. Tips and love.